Having taken the tank off because it was leaking, I've now repaired it. I put, I give it a good rubbing down, put some filler on it where it was just a few scratches, then put another undercoat on. But doing it on a workbench is really hard, so I had some wood laying around, so I made the frame up. I can also weld, having a MIG welder. So I got the bar, fitted the brackets, as you can see from the bottom, and welded some nuts on the end where you can put the sockets in, socket on the end and turn the socket which makes it easier to turn uh, because it's also you can carry it outside when you want to rub it down as well so you're not getting too much dust in your in your workshop all in all it works pretty good i just carried on with it give it about three coats kept going on it i didn't get rid of all the little dinks and bumps in it i don't want a prestige looking pest petrol tank that's not how what I'm about. I'm not into one of them concourse type of bikes. I just want it functional, looking okay, and does the job. And that's what this rotisserie does. It's easily disassembled. I take the tank off, undo the bolts, stand the bar in the corner, take the wood down. Quite easily put it back together again. Give it about three coats of undercoat, as I said. And then I give it three coats of gloss, which you're going to see now in this uh, next section. All came up pretty good. It's easy when it's got a rotisserie. You're not going to bang it. You're not going to touch it. Plus you can do the lid. And it's just easier. I use, um, this is this paint that I used was military graphite grey gloss. No, it's like a satin gloss, but it still looks like a glossy colour. Looks pretty good. I'm quite well pleased with it anyway. Petrol resistant, so you can pour whatever you want on it. Nothing happens to it. I'm quite pleased with it. You just got to keep working at it. There's a couple of photos are coming up now where it's uh, on the bike, but you, the rubber pads that go on the side of the tank, you have to soak them in water because there's a metal fitting that screws onto those two holes that are on either side. You soak the rubber mats and then you can pry. So there's the two holes there. You put a metal plate on and the rubber pads, you squeeze them over because you've got to get them nice and supple before you can do them. But it's easy enough to do. Looks pretty good. I'm well pleased with it. A couple of photos coming up in a minute. You don't have to throw the bracket away. That's what I liked about it. It's not in my way. Just put it on the shelf and I finish with it out of the way. If I need to use it again, it looks good.